What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we got some market talk, we got some MT tips, and all that good stuff. Before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub because that'd be really appreciated. Let's get 120 likes in the video. We're gonna do MT giveaways on Twitter. Once you guys uh, follow the Twitter, obviously, we're selling MT on Twitter. And if we get 120 likes in this video and we hit 10K soon, man. We're gonna hit 10k hopefully like within the next couple days. So once we do, man, we're gonna do a 100k MT giveaway on Twitter. So get ready, man. Go drop the Twitter follow. We're also selling MT on here. So if you need MT on Xbox, PS4, hit me up. I got the prices. I got the fast reliability. But yeah, let's get into the video. So oh god. So if you guys don't know, man, they dropped Evo cards. Now if you didn't know, I don't know what is going on, but. They just dropped Evo cards. Now I'm a fan. I'm a fan, even though they're really hard. Now, if you guys don't know, if you have Nikola Jokic, they dropped a ton of Evos. Now, what's going to happen with these cards? Personally, now what's going to happen? Um, they're going to drop in price, okay? Now, what is going to happen? Is it worth going for the Evo? So, in my opinion, 50 triple doubles, 100 steals, and 100 blocks. You know what I'm going to say to that? I'm going to go into my collection, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to Nikola Jokic and I'm going to simply put him on the auction because I'm never doing that. Okay. That is literally the most pointless Evo. I'm not going to get 50 triple doubles anytime soon. I have no time to play the game. He's getting the boot. He's got the shoes. He's got the contracts. Have a good one, man. So this is what I'm doing. Personally, what you should be doing is looking at these Evos. Now, this is the thing I came across. Taco Fall even has an Evo. Oh my God. So this is the thing I came across. If you have Bowl Bowl, um, try to Evo him and pair him up with Manute Bowl. Because, oh my god. Oh my god. That card is literally a me metahuman, bro. I'm shocked that they did this. Um, he's literally Evo with Manute Bowl. And then you could eat. No, he you could pair him up with Manute Bowl. It boosts his stats. And then you could get him Evoed. This card is a meta. This is literally a Galaxy Opal times 10. And not only that. We got the LeBron James Opal at 1.6 mil with this Evo. Um, how much better can this card get? This card is going to jump and dunk on us from the free throw line. Not from the free throw line, from the three-point line. Um, personally, what you guys should be doing to make MT? Whew, this is tough. So now, we got these packs. Now... Every single Evo card is in these packs, supposedly. I really want to pull them. They're Evo Super Packs. What does that mean? To be completely honest, um, it says there's Evos in here. It says it's a chance. So these packs are low-key trash. They're only popable with VC. So these contain 10 Evo Super Packs. Now, any evolution... Okay, so that's kind of weird. This is a very bad pack. This is a rigged pack. Do not pop this pack. Like, please don't. This pack is literally giving you a chance at an Evo card. What are the chances? They're probably really low. But here's the thing. I'm going to tell you a couple things. Now, since this content did just drop, and it takes a very long time to Evo Opals, if I were you, I would throw your cards up on the auction. If you have any of these Opal Evos, throw them up on the auction. Now, here's the catch. Here is the catch. Here is the catch. Can an auction glitch hit us? It's so possible. Like, this draws enough attention. Ooh, D-Book even got one. This draws enough attention, in my opinion, for them to drop something cheesy and have the auction house glitch again. This is, this is like, exactly what I feel like they wanted. Now, should you sell cards now? If I were you, I would take the risk. What time is it? It's 11.25. Well, by the time I drop this video, it'll be 1. Would you take the risk and sell these cards now while they're hyped up? It's possible. Like, this D-Rose went up a ton. It's totally up to you personally it's hard like to make mt right now you could possibly just be sitting on the opal filter if you get some evo opals man you're gonna dub out is the opal filter working on xbox i have no idea i don't even know what's going on but i find it crazy that 2k instead of price fixing they actually made it harder or well, they made it easier i guess to get opals in a way but also at the not not at the same time because 
A lot of people are going to want to Evo these cards out. So I'm honestly kind of confused. Is this going to create a market crash? Probably not. I really do not think it's going to create a market crash. It's honestly just going to bring more attention to the market, which means probably more snipe flow, which probably means you're going to make more MT off the snipe filters. If you don't know my snipe filters, man, go look at top snipe filters of the week or whatever. Top snipe filters on my channel. It helps a lot. So now what should you be doing? I'm confused myself. I would love to sell these cards. It's just I'm scared of an auction house glitch. Like this Bo Bo went up about 100 something thousand over the last weeks. He's now evoed. So what I think is going to happen is once that first evo card comes out and he's paired up with Manu Bo, that card is probably going to be like all 99. Like if you think about it, he, he gets raised a lot with Manu Bo plus the evo. I can't even imagine this card. I don't know the requirements, but it's crazy. So now what should you do? How should you make MT? It's simple. Hop on the snipes. If you have any Evos in your collection, just throw them up, especially if they're buyable. Like John Wall is one of them, Aaron Baines, like little dudes. So let's let's check out an Aaron Baines price. Because there's a couple Ami ones. There's a couple there's a couple Ami ones that actually do go to like what is it, Pink Diamond? And there's a Jason Terry Diamond that goes to Opal. So here's Aaron Baines. The fact that he's 20,000 plus is crazy because now he is a pink diamond. So I'll be throwing up my Aaron Baines up there. He's 18k. Um, this is crazy. So if you have MT, you don't have a lot of MT and you're in your collection, you're like, yo, this bum has an Evo now. He actually goes for MT. That's a huge W because they're all, all these Amis that are Evo now are literally insane and they go up to a uh, legit overall. Like that Jason Terry diamond, that card is fire. So we got an Eric Pusch Shaw diamond. He's probably up a lot too. So I'm going to throw up him on the auction. We got Aaron Baines. We got all these cards now. This is good. This is going to bring a lot of attention to the market. Since they do raise a lot in price, they're going to raise a lot in price, bro. This Evo, oh, they even have an Evo Shack, right? Oh, no, that was just a dynamic duo Shack. But this brings a lot, a lot, a lot of attention to this. So let's see. We got an Aaron Baines. Imagine it was a Lance Stevenson. So here's the Aaron Baines. I'm going to throw him up. We got no one else. So this is what I'm doing all day. Like, first off, if you invested in Aaron Baines, like I told you guys to a while ago, and you kept some of them, ooh, you are dubbing out so hard. So, how to make MT right now? Simply. It's just sniping and knowing your Evos, bro. It's simple. Like, this might be the best MT making method right now. They pretty much just dropped us a great way to make MT. And here it is, man. It's simple. Selling your, selling your Evos. Sniping out. Like, look at this Michael Ray Richardson, bro. If you remember, he was 5K for the longest time. He's up to like 15, 13K probably. So that's a huge W. It just shows how crazy this is. Like, are people actually going to do the Evos? Personally, I'm not doing it. Um, It's too much of a waste of time. You can just go pick up pink diamonds that are already there. But I'm going to throw my Aaron Baines for like 13K. Hope for the best. I'm going to make a ton of MT. He was like 2K. Um, Eric Paschal. Everyone loves Eric Paschal. So he's going to be a lot of MT too. I know all you guys. Like most of you guys invested in these cards. And you guys probably made a lot of MT if you did invest. Like, if you guys invested in Eric Paschal's, like I told you guys to a while ago, and all these cards, and then they just dropped these Evos, or not, yeah, they dropped these Evos, that's a huge W for you. You're going to make thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of MT. Like, look at this Eric Paschal. He's now up to, like, 50K. What? All right, 18,500. I'm going to throw him up. Hopefully, he sells. But it just shows how much MT you could actually make. Off these Evo cards, man, you can make so much MT. Now, is the market going to crash? It's possible. Probably not in our favor. And is the auction house going to glitch? It's very possible. It's kind of scary, but yo, they sold already. So my Aaron Baines, my Richardson, I made so much MT. I made 30K off them easily. It just shows. I made at least 20K off them, I mean, easily. It just shows, man, this brings value to the game. This is something I love. This is going to make us a lot of MT, and honestly, since the Opal filter is back, I would hit on this Opal filter, man. If you get an Evo Opal on here for 100k, you know how much money, you know how much MT you're going to make? You're going to make hundreds of thousands of MT, and it's simple, man. This is like the simple method. I hope you guys enjoy it because honestly, this is simple, man. If you have them in your set, you literally, how to find your Evos, man, just go to Card Evolution and scroll through, see if you see any new ones. Um... It's simple, man. I literally just hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you take these tips and dub out for them. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.